Right, so that's Alan just launched off for a quick flight down. So you can see he's pretty well maintaining height there. Okay, he's got a driving. Yeah, well, it helps a wee bit. Is that a sports thing or? Yeah. So he's probably got to save the walk, but I could have picked him up from there. So he's likely to fly around. Remember, there, getting lift. So that's another option. Mm, that's another option. Because uh, you've walked up round that way. Mm. The only bit not to land in is the very wet field next to stables. Yeah. Below it, is or it immediately above. Above the flag, basically. Uh, you can land anywhere where the flag is, and this side of the flag. Mm. You don't want to land down near the stables where the gate was, and you don't want to land on the paddock, which is actually the waterlogged one on okay. the far side. Alan is going. Yeah. So Alan's going round to, round to there. And you've still then got the option of cutting across. Now, you see the stubble field on the yes. far side? So how does that sound like an option for you? If, if I, I would prefer yeah. to fly that way. Yeah, well, that's avoid fine. Avoid the fields, and um, if I've got I'd try to go over. Yeah, and you can cut. But this time of year, there's no real issue with landing on the crops. Okay. Power lines along the road? Not really an issue. Okay, they are. You can see, uh, yes. there's nothing there. Hmm. Only, only street lights down there. Okay. So we really have no issues of safety that way. Okay. Around there. It's just gorse bushes. Considering the wing is very wet. It's not going to make any odds on the flying. Slightly heavier, that's about it. Good. Right, so we'll get you set for lunch.